ten. They're all here, the final 10 Lightning Overdrive cards. Make sure you subscribe so you do not miss out on excellent content. I just woke up, it has been a busy, busy day, and let's dig on into these bad boys, shall we? I see a inverted Book of Moon, which I'm already a little bit, th this, this actually looks cool. All right, so uh, we've revisited the Book of Moon. All right, so Book of Total Lunar Eclipse, or Book of Lunar Eclipse. Discard one card and then target two face-up monsters on the field. Change them to face-down defense position. Was this really necessary? At least Book of... The other book allowed us to massively flip down everything. Your opponent just drew cards. Book of Moon flips down one. Now you're making us discard one to flip down two? I mean, I guess it's cool, like, I'll, I'll take it, but I don't know, man. That just doesn't seem good. I don't know. I, I know Simo's already excited for it, but I don't know. That doesn't seem that good. I want to wait and see. I know for Morphing Jar, they just got another flip down, so I guess that's something, I guess. All right, what, what else we get here? Yummy. Yummy Orny? Level 2 Water Reptile. Huh. I guess that's kind of cool. We'll take that. So you can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one reptile you control, and one face up monster you put on controls, activate these effects. Change the targeted monster to face down defense position, destroy your targeted monster, and if you do change your opponent's targeted monster's attack to zero, until you know the turn. So you get a flip down or you get to make something zero. That seems horrible. Man, like can we get some actual good reptile support? I, I've been I've been an advocate for like good alien support for so long, but we just continue to just not want good alien support. I don't know why. Alright. Uh Carbon. Play on Earthling and Old Earth God. This actually just kind of looks like a scrap monster. It's kind of adorable actually. Look at that little face. Huh. Alright, so while you control no monsters or other monsters you control are pendulum monsters. Apply this effect based on your pendulum zone this card is in. Left, reduce this card's pendulum scale to three. Right, increase this card's pendulum scale by four. Ooh, that's actually really good. So we have a modifier, huh? And then we also have, once per turn during your opponent's standby phase, you can post this card from your pendulum zone. So it actually gets to extend itself out as basically a wall or something that you could like formula synchron with. Okay. Uh, monster effects. If this card is them into a zone that is not in the center main monster zone, destroy this card. Well, that's automatically bad, all right. This thing cannot be destroyed by battle. And once per turn during your opponent's end phase, you could target one card in your pendulum zone destroyed, and if you do, place this card in your pendulum zone. This card literally jumps everywhere, but this card is actually kind of cool. Uh, the left and right scale modifications might be a prelude to what's coming for future support, but this card is kind of cool. I like this. Uh, I mean, all right, <laughs> that's our uh, that's our first chunk of stuff. A book of total lunar eclipse is pretty whatever. I can't be the only one that's uh, kind of interested about that, I guess. Uh, and then there, okay, that was the climate changer. Okay, I, I missed this guy here. Uh, the old Earth God. Uh, you contribute th this. You contribute this normal summon card. Add one Earth fairy monster from your deck to your hand, except for carbon. And we face up fairy monster you control sent to the graveyard while this card is in your graveyard and place this card on the top of your deck. Um, so tr you get a tribute to search for a earth fairy? That's kind of cute actually. I kind of like that. Alright. I also like how I just skipped on over. Okay. Whatever. Disregard me. We, we got it. Alright. That's interesting though. Huh. Alright. What else we got here? Uh, Pharaonic Guardian Sphinx. We are really remaking Guardian Sphinx after how many years here? Okay, so you can only use each of this card's names second and third effects once per turn. So once per turn, you can change this face down, or you can change this card to face down defense position, much like the other Sphinx. I guess it's kind of cool. If this card is flipped, someone shuffle all monster opponent controls into the deck. That's literally what the other Sphinx does. 
If this card you control is destroyed by an opponent's card, you can swap some of the one level five rock monster from your hand or deck and face in a defense position. This literally floats into Guardian Sphinx. I think Guardian Sphinx is level five. I guess that's kind of cool. Uh, I, I do like remakes of older cards. Dark Eye Nightmare. That is literally just an eye and a suit of armor. What do I want this for? So you can only use this card's name's first effect once per turn. So you can banish up to three trap cards from your graveyard. Apply this effect based on the number banished. One, draw a card and place one card from your hand on the bottom of the deck. Okay, two, draw one. Or three, draw two cards and discard one. This is actually amazing for Counter Fairy. Wow! So now Counter Fairy has a sub draw engine available to them. Wow! That's really good! Once return of this card would be destroyed by battle, you can banish trap card instead. No, 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 I don't even care. You just gave Counter Fairy the ability to draw to discard one. Alright, for a banished three traps from the graveyard. That's beautiful. This will be like your sub extender play for the deck. That is really cool. Good job. Thank you, Konami. We needed something like this. It's not amazing, but alright, I'll take it. A curry way. Uh, this is angry Kareebo bullying the little one. I, I love this card. So you can target one link monster in either graveyard, shuffle it into the extra deck, or splash summon it to the owner's field. This card's name is based on the term one click wear, which is a form of ransomware. Oh my gosh. So you get to splash summon. If you want to splash summon from your opponent's graveyard, it's unfortunately going to go to their field, but you can summon from your graveyard, which is actually really good. All right, so congratulations. We have a monster reborn dedicated to link monsters that you can use in your deck, uh, which is actually pretty good. What is this? Star Mine. It's a level four synchro. All right, we're making progress here. One tuner plus one or more non tuner. And only special, but one Star Mine mines once per turn. If this card is destroyed by battle with an opponent's monster or is destroyed by an opponent's card effect while in its owner's possession, you take 2,000 damage and then inflict 2,000 damage to your opponent. That is interesting. All right, so this card's going to facilitate burn effects. Okay. If your monster in a monster zone adjacent to this card is destroyed by battle with an opponent's tacky monster, or by card effect, destroy this card, you take 2k, your opponent takes 2k. They really want your opponent to take that 2k, all right? So either way, this thing's gonna explode some way, somehow, some shape. Your opponent's gonna take 2,000 damage, which is absolutely fine in my opinion. Uh, another resource to the game, actually. I'm, I'm fine with this. I think this card's good. Uh, somebody told me that this card was going to be a staple, but... I'm not quite sure. <laughs> There's a lot going on here. All right. All right. So once per turn during main phase two, this the turn player can gain 500 life. And if you do apply these effects for the rest of this turn, that player's normal summon and splash summon cannot be negated. The activation of that player's cards and effects that include the effect that splash summon a monster cannot be negated. That player's opponent cannot target that player's set spell and trap cards with card effects, and they cannot be destroyed by that player's opponent's card effects. Now remember, this is a once per turn during the main phase. You'll gain life, and then you'll apply effects for the rest of this turn. So that means no end phase popping back row. Uh, your summons will be unnegatable. Uh, and then basically, yeah, your summons are unnegatable. So this card is actually really good. Like this card is actually bonkers good. All right, I don't know how much play this is going to see, but this is a game changer. All right, and then Foku Biki. Oh no, we're back again. This poor guy. Him and his little scrap share, man. Each player shuffles their deck, and if they do, excavate the top card of each deck and compare their attack monsters. Monsters with question mark attack and spell and traps are created as zero attack. If one card has higher attack than the other, add it to the owner's hand. And if you do, send the card with a lower attack to the graveyard. If their attack are equal, place them on the bottom of the deck. 
Kabuki means lottery, basically. This card replaces the beaky draw part of sadness and happiness. Since the TCG doesn't seem to be translating the names of the cards in Goblin Kids' depressing adventures, we're leaving it as it is on purpose. Poor little Goblin Kid. He never gets anything good. Well, that's the uh, the stuff. This card is really good, actually. Secret Hot Springs of the Far East. Uh, I think this is probably the best card. I don't know. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. Make sure you guys are subscribed so you don't miss out on Mark Watch of the Morning. I'll see your beautiful faces back here, actually with blazing vortex information coming on out here over the next couple of days. All right, guys. Have a good one. Peace. Thank you, patrons, for making the ride never truly end without you guys' support. Well, I would probably be doing Drupal Shuffle videos for a living. Guys, please check out Vanquil 40 for all of your card fight Vanguard content brought to you by Mquil 40 and... If you are looking to pick up singles, check out mcoolgames.com for your trading card game needs. Thanks for watching, everybody.